Hey everyone, Ken Zanity here and welcome back to the Laddie Esports League. Today we're diving into the exciting world of Hearthstone and I've got a special treat for you, the Naga Demon Hunter deck. Whether you're a seasoned player looking to try something new or a beginner wanting to learn the ropes, this deck has some powerful plays that can lead you to victory. So let's jump right in. The Naga Demon Hunter deck is built around the power level of the Blind Eye Sharpshooter. Regardless of the matchup spread, this card is in nearly all cases a relevant part of the deck's win condition. The deck uses early one and two drops and tempo-based spells for early aggression and board control and rides that through to an early victory. In slower matches, the Blind Eye Sharpshooter paired with discounted Naga cards and free spells allows for serious card draw and big melee attacks by the hero. The benefits of this deck are the games end really quickly and that it is also very cheap to build. As a returning player who has been away from the game for four years, this was the only deck I could build and I took it from the lowest rank in the game to Diamond 2 in two days. The primary win condition of the deck is to control the board so that you can land Blind Eye Sharpshooter with two to three mana to spare. Combo off a couple of Nagas and draw into your two momentums and dispose of evidence for an additional 14 damage from hand. It is important to know that with the Sharpshooter on the board, your turns become play Sharpshooter, play Naga, play Free Spell, play Naga, play Free Spell, etc. You usually want to be able to play three to four Nagas to get major value off of this, meaning having seven to eight mana on the turn or having discounted the cost of some Nagas in your hand. Now, let's talk about the mulligan phase. Mulliganing is crucial for winning certain matchups. In general, you should always hard mulligan to find a blind eye sharpshooter, however, the following things could apply. Against aggro, it is okay to keep Miracle Salesman or another strong one drop. If you have Wayward Sage as the first card in your hand, it is almost always a guaranteed keep. If you have a sharpshooter in your hand already, you should be mulliganing for the matchup. That means one drops versus aggro and bibliomite versus control. If you have a sightless magistrate and the coin versus control or mid-range, it is okay to hold them and dump your hand aggressively during rounds one through three. Here are some key strategies to keep in mind while playing the Naga Demon Hunter deck. One, board control. Prioritize controlling the board early on. Use your efficient removal tools to keep your opponent's minions in check especially against decks like Druid, Rogue, and Paladin. If you control the board, you can put enough pressure on the opponent to spend removal to clear the board, perhaps allowing you to play an early sharpshooter with just small combo potential, simply because they can't remove it the following turn. 2. Aggressive plays. Don't be afraid to go face. The deck thrives on aggression and putting pressure on your opponent can force them into defensive plays, giving you the upper hand. If you can keep them around 18 health, it is quite common to be able to drop sharpshooter and combo out of nowhere. Three, resource management. Please note that the deck list above runs Illidari Studies, Oasis Outlaws, and Snake Eyes. These are cards that aren't naturally free so they can potentially ruin combo turns if you don't have adequate mana. You should keep this in mind when debating about dropping a sharpshooter. Have you already pulled these cards? Do you have enough mana should you end up pulling them during the combo turn? Do you have other combo activators in your hand? Be sure you have enough resources so you don't squander the turn. Four, Wayward Sage. Be mindful of cards with outcast, especially on combo turns. Keep Sage if it is the first card in your hand. Against aggro decks, you don't mind her ability to discount any cards in your hand. However, in matchups where you need the bigger combo, you definitely need to make sure that you hit Nagas or one-cost spells with her ability. Five, hand manipulation. Cards like Dispose of Evidence can be used to correct the placement of cards in your hand. Be cognizant of where your outcast cards are so that you can benefit from them. Remember that when you combo, you draw spells and naga so that by sending these back, you in essence do not lose cards in hand, 
as long as you get to combo eventually. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to playing the Naga Demon Hunter deck. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be discouraged if you don't master the deck right away. Experiment with different strategies, learn from each game, and most importantly, have fun on your journey to becoming a Hearthstone master. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more Hearthstone content. Until next time, happy gaming and happy Thanksgiving.